Hi YouTube! This is a video about how to make your own spray natural stain remover. It is amazing. Uh, so what I use is a bunch of farmer stain stick remover. You can get this stuff super cheap, under $10, uh, and I just ordered it online. So what I do is I take this stick here. You can take the stick, wet it a little bit, and then just rub it on the stain. And I've heard people can people get their stains out that way. Uh, I haven't even been successful with that, but uh, I know that, that that works for other people. So what I do is I just take my little stick here and a butter knife. You can also use a cheese grater. Uh, I know people that use a cheese grater, but I just shave off bunch of little itty bitty shavings with my butter knife here and I just empty it into this little bowl um, just be because it does kind of get everywhere if if you aren't putting it into one spot um, so depending on how big the container is that you're putting your spray in is going to depend on how much of the stick you need. So I just shave a bunch off here and I try to make it super thin that way it dissolves pretty quickly. So I like to put quite a bit in my solution. I've seen other videos online where other people's solutions are a little bit lighter than mine. My husband wears white shirts to work and he works in a restaurant where they serve pretty much anything and everything. <laughs> uh, so he gets wine on his outfit, he's gotten blood on his outfit, he's gotten uh, a pin had exploded on his shirt one time uh, and I got that out. I could do another video about how to keep your whites white <laughs> if, if you'd like to save some of your shirts. Especially if you do use your shirts for work and uh, like my husband, his shirts cost $30 a piece. And so um, that that's uh, quite a bit of money if you can save the shirt with little to no effort. So this is how much I'm shaving off. And then I just put my stick back into my, my little box that it came with. That way it, it doesn't get everywhere. Um, and it saves me from having to clean up. So this is what I I put about this much in my solution. And then I take the bottle that I, I want to shake it up in. So here's my bottle. I put my water on hot. That way it can dissolve as quickly as possible. And then I fill up my bottle. This is just a plastic bottle I got from the dollar store. Four dollar. It came with a spray lid on the top. Um, so I'm going to fill this about halfway. And the reason why you only fill it up with halfway is so when you shake it, um, it shakes really well and the, the foam doesn't hurt it from getting dissolved quickly. So I have this lid here that I use with it. I actually got that off of a, a wine bottle <laughs> and it fits really well on this bottle. Uh, so what I do is I just take my little pieces here and I put it in the bottle. So if you have a better way of putting these little pieces in this bottle that's not as messy, I know it seems, I'm a conservative so I like to just put every little itty bitty piece in here that I can. Uh, so if you have a better way of doing this, please put this in the comments and let me know. Of course a funnel wouldn't work because these little soap pieces would get caught in the funnel. Um, I've tried also putting the little soap pieces 
in the funnel and they they wouldn't go through and then trying to put the hot water through the funnel and sometimes they just stuck inside of the funnel and it ended up being more of a hassle than anything so if you have any suggestions <laughs> that would be great so I have all my little pieces there I'm just gonna screw my top on you want to put something on there pretty tight the little spray thing that it came with works fine. Um, I'm just using my little spray thing for something else. So here it is. I shook it up. As you can see, there's fo there's foam in there. Um, I like my consistency to be about that dark. If I have it any lighter than that, then... Uh, it doesn't work as well as I want it to. So I just unscrewed the top. What I do is usually just wait until the all the foam settles and there's no more foam left. Because I like to put it in this little bottle right here. For when I'm spraying it on to garments and things. Just because this bottle's super small it's super easy to carry around and it has the adjustable settings of the spray and the more direct spray so I'm just filling it up as you can see if I would have waited till the foam settled there wouldn't be this little extra foam there um, so I just put this on and then screw it on there And then I'll spray it onto the stained area. So here is one of my husband's, like I said, his white shirts. Um, he doesn't have any stains on this one. Um, but let's say there was one right there. What I would do is I would just spray it um, with this spray. If he had a big stain, let's say it was here and it was really light, I would use the more of the mist spray. And oftentimes it just dissolves right out. Um, you'd be so surprised how easily it just just literally dissolves before your eyes, just right out. Um, sometimes if he has a little bit more of a rough stain, I got a little water there, um, a little bit more of a rough stain, uh, for example, I don't know, I'm trying to think, some, Sometimes pen, uh, oftentimes if I sp he gets pen on his shirt and I spray pen, um, I'm sorry, I, sp I spray the stain remover on the pen, it just dissolves, but sometimes it doesn't. So if I do get a little bit of um, some kind of a stain on there and it doesn't dissolve right away, I'll just use a little scrubber. Um, I have this one, I think it's for your nails, I got it at the dollar store, and I'll just kind of scrub it. I usually don't have to scrub too hard. Or I got this at the dollar store. It's actually for your vegetables. Um, and I'll scrub that. He sometimes gets stuff on the collar or... I'll show you the back of this shirt here. Or the back of his shirt. He'll get a lot of um, stains on the back of this. Sometimes he'll come home with like a bunch of food all over here. <laughs> and 